first line up your two clips on the timeline and move five frames forward on the first one. In the effect controls panel set a keyframe for position. Then go to the effects panel, search for the crop effect and drag it onto the clip. While you're still five frames in, add keyframes for both left and right under crop. Now move 10 more frames forward and change the left and right values to 25. After that, scroll up and adjust the position so the clip shifts to the right and lines up properly with the cut. Once you have that, select all the keyframes on the left side, right click, go to temporal interpolation and choose ease out. Then do the same for the keyframes on the right side, but this time choose ease in. And you should have something like this. Now move the playhead 5 frames forward from the very beginning, right to the first position keyframe we created earlier. At that exact point, drag your second clip onto the timeline so it lines up perfectly. In the effect controls panel, set a keyframe for position and then drag the clip all the way to the left until it disappears from the screen. After that, go back to the effects panel, search again for the crop effect and apply it to the second clip. Under the crop settings, add keyframes for both the left and right sides. Then move 10 frames forward and change the values for left and right to 25%. Once that's set, highlight all the keyframes on the left column, right click, go to temporal interpolation and choose ease out so the motion feels smoother. Next, go back to the position controls and drag the clip to the right, stopping just before it overlaps with the first one so that a small gap remains between them. This creates the beginning of the split screen effect. Finally, select all the keyframes on the right column, right click, choose temporal interpolation, and this time select ease in. And that's it. In just a few minutes, you've built a clean split screen effect that makes your edit look much more dynamic. Now that we have this transition ready, let's move on and create the CRT look. Now let's move on and create a new adjustment layer. To do that, click on the new item button at the bottom of your project panel and select adjustment layer. Just confirm the default settings by hitting OK. Once it's created, simply drag that adjustment layer onto your timeline and place it directly above where your clips end. If it extends too far, you can trim it down so it lines up exactly with the length of your clips and delete the remaining part. Alright, now it's time to actually start building that CRT look by stacking a few different effects onto our adjustment layer. First, search for noise in the effects panel. Drag it onto the adjustment layer and under the noise settings increase the amount of noise to about 7.5. This gives us that subtle grain you'd normally see on an old screen. Next, we'll need the grid effect. Since it's no longer included in Premiere Pro by default, we'll have to pull it from the obsolete effects. To do that, right click inside the effects panel, choose import presets, navigate to your computer, select the obsolete presets file and hit open. Now you'll see the grid effect available again. Drag it onto your adjustment layer and let's tweak a few settings. Change the size from option from corner point to width and height sliders. Set the width to 4000, the height to 8 and leave the border at 5. For the color, pick pure black and switch the blending mode to overlay. If you notice that distracting vertical line running across the frame, just move the anchor point slightly to the left until it disappears from the view. The next effect is Lens Distortion. Apply it and under the settings change Curvature to 25, set both Vertical and Horizontal Decentering to minus 3, and add a bit of Prism Shift by setting both the Vertical and Horizontal Prism to 3. Finally add the Transform effect. Increase the scale to around 135 so the whole look really fills the screen. And that's pretty much it. If you don't feel like building this effect manually step by step, don't worry. You can grab my ready-made preset for free. Just check the link in the description below. If you love the free CRT effect, wait until you try the full CRT look pack. Inside you'll get a complete collection of cinematic CRT presets that instantly give your videos that gritty retro vibe without wasting hours tweaking settings.